I'm using on gaming communities and what kind of um, content they create outside of the game, which is related to that, and machinima is one of the research topics. Another one is theory crafting, which I personally think is very interesting because gamers are in, are spending a lot of time to uh, collect data from the game and then come up with theories or rather a hypothesis what is the underlying algorithm and how can we as a gamer have an impact on that and how can the knowledge about that improve our gameplay. I think that is also very interesting because they use data mining, they use the game as a laboratory, so they are using um, methods from, yeah, quantitative methods, research methods actually, but they never come up with a full, full theory. It's more like a few rules and algorithms they have then an insight in. That's also very interesting. So it's uh, about also knowledge production um, based on gaming experiences for the gaming community. I've worked on digital aesthetics first for a while, literature and digital art. Um, but I moved more and more to um, online communities, um, gaming communities and fan cultures. That's my research recently at the moment. I presented on Machinima. Uh, under the title Machinima Remix Practices and I had chosen a few examples um, published on YouTube by gamers of a massive multiplayer online role-playing game called Aeon which is now in Europe, has been released in Europe one, one and a half year ago and um, my interest here was in on one hand the remix practices the players engaged in but also um, in how far players um, use different sources, for example, um, different soundtracks coming from popular music, um, but also references to TV, TV shows, for example, or um, conventions coming from television series, and then also integrating their own gaming experiences and um, specific knowledge about the gaming community for which this, uh, these videos I have shown had been made. There are only very few companies who really um, see legal and copyright problems with that. But in most cases, they are f uh, happy to have a free advertisement for their products. So they are not, um, they are rather positive about these user generated content. Um, the problem only arises when users use uh, popular music as a soundtrack without asking for permission to do so, or do not give the credits. As soon as users give the credits at the end, it's usually also fine, then it's ac accepted. There are specific machinima platforms, but usually things are mirrored as well on YouTube to have a broader audience to make it um, accessible for more people.